In this lesson, we're going to learn how to reflect an image across a line of reflection on the coordinate plane. A reflection is a type of transformation in which we are going to flip an object over our line of reflection. Remember, the original object is called the pre-image and the new object is the image. When we reflect an object, we are just flipping the object. We still have a congruent shape. Therefore, a reflection is a type of rigid transformation. In this example, you can see our blue triangle is the pre-image and our pink triangle is the image. We can see the primes that indicate that this object has been transformed. Our y-axis is the line of reflection in this example. So the line of reflection for this lesson is going to be the x-axis, and sometimes it's noted as the equation y equals zero, where all of our y-coordinates are zero on that line. And then the y-axis, also known as x equals zero. So these are lines of reflection. Now let's take note that each pre-image point and image point are equally distance from the line of reflection. So we can see here that B is eight units from our Y axis and B prime is also, excuse me, seven units. They are seven units from the line of reflection, just the same as the A value, or I should say the A point and A prime are equally distance from the line of reflection. This will help us when we reflect on a graph. Here are some properties held under reflections. And the main thing is, is you're gonna have congruent lengths, congruent angles, therefore our shapes are congruent. So here are the rules for the line of reflections. Again, we're just gonna focus on reflecting across the x-axis and the y-axis. So let's look at this example. The blue triangle is our pre-image and our, the yellow triangle is the image. It is the image after the transformation has occurred. So you can see that this point here on our triangle is two units above our line of reflection, the x-axis. It is two units away. Therefore, our new point will be two units on the opposite side of the line of reflection. Note what changes in our coordinates. So the pre-image, the X value is negative four, the Y value is five, and when we flip this image across the line of reflection, our X coordinate stays the same when we flip across the X axis, but the Y coordinate changes to the opposite sign. That is what this rule indicates here. So when you reflect or flip an image across the X axis, the X coordinate stays the same and the Y coordinate changes to the opposite. Now let's take a look at when we are reflecting across the Y axis. Our original point, our pre-image, we can see that this point is negative four five and when we flip it across, the y-axis, we get four comma five. So in our line of ref reflection is the y-axis. So you can see when you flip or reflect an object over the y-axis, the y-coordinates remain the same, but our x-coordinate changes to the opposite. That is what this rule is telling us here. So when you flip across the y-axis, the y-coordinate stays the same, and the X changes to the opposite sign. Okay, let's do an example here. We're trying to write the rule. So first let's indicate our pre-image coordinates. So A is one comma negative two, B is one comma negative six, 
c is 5 comma negative 6. And we're trying to write the rule. Then we have reflected and our new image is in now went from quadrant 4 to quadrant 1. And a prime has become 1 comma 2. B prime has become 1 comma 6 and C prime has become 5 comma 6. So we can see that the X coordinates remain the same where all of our Y coordinates change to the opposite. So that means this was reflected across the X axis. When your X values remain the same, that's the axis it reflected across. And you can see that we have we're two units down for A and two units above our line of reflection of A prime. So here, let's sketch in our line of reflection. And remember, there, each point is equally distanced from that line of reflection. Okay, now we're going to, in this example, our pre-image is in quadrant one and our new image, our image is in quadrant two. Let's identify the vertices. A is three comma seven, B is three comma three, and C is five comma three. A prime is negative three comma seven, B prime is negative three comma three, and C prime is negative five comma three. So we can see that the X coordinates changed and the Y coordinates all stay the same. This tells us if we didn't have a graph, it would tell us that it does reflect across the Y axis. So our line of reflection is the Y axis and each point on the pre-image pre and image are equally distance from the line of reflection. So B and B prime are both three units from the line of reflection. In this example, A is negative six comma negative four. B is negative six comma seven. And C is negative two comma seven. It started out, it's in quadrant three and our image is going to be in quadrant two. A prime is negative six comma four. B prime is negative six comma seven. And C prime is negative two comma seven. And these should be negatives here. So you can see all of the pre-image points are both X and Y coordinate that indicates quadrant three. And then they end up in quadrant two, which is positive negative coordinates. The Y coordinates change, therefore our transformation rule is, is being reflected across the X axis. So our line of reflection is the X axis. Sometimes folks write it as Y equals zero and each point is equally distance from the line of reflection. Here our image is starting in, our pre-image I should say, is starting in quadrant four and our image is in quadrant three. So A is two comma negative two, B is two comma negative six, and C is six comma negative six. A prime is going to be negative two comma negative two, B prime is negative two comma negative six, and C prime is negative six comma negative six. So all of the X coordinates change to their opposite and all the Y coordinates remain the same. Therefore, our line of reflection was the Y axis, also called X equals zero. Therefore, the rule is, is reflecting across the Y axis. So whichever at line of reflection, that coordinate remains the same value and the other coordinate changes to the opposite. Now let's use the rule they give us and reflect this image, this pre-image 
across the x-axis. So we can do it graphically first. Let's identify A. We have negative 6, 5. B is negative 6, 3. And C is negative 2, 3. So when we reflect, A is 5 units above the line of reflection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, A prime is going to be 5 units below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is A prime. B is three units above the line of reflection, therefore B prime will be three units below, one, two, three. C is three units above, therefore C is gonna be three units below. So that's how you can do it graphically. To do it algebraically, we know that because it reflects across the x-axis, all the x-coordinates are gonna remain the same and our y values would change to the opposite. It's that easy. Let's try another example. This time we're reflecting across the y axis and let's identify our pre-image points. A is seven comma five, B is seven comma one, C is five comma one. We are in quadrant one, it says to reflect across the y-axis. So all of these values are positive, positive. When we reflect, we're gonna end up in quadrant two, which is negative, positive. And so when we reflect, we're gonna change our x values to their opposite. So we have negative seven comma five, negative seven comma one, and negative five comma one. And then we can tell because they'll be equally distant. So A prime is negative seven comma five. B prime is negative seven comma one. And C prime is negative five comma one. So here is our reflected and transformed image. And you can see that C prime is five units from the y-axis and C is five units. So they're equally distant. Let's reflect across the x-axis. So we're starting out in quadrant four, which is positive negative, and A is going to be five comma negative two, B is two comma negative six, and C is six comma negative six. We're reflecting across the x-axis, so all of our x values on our image will remain the same, and the y-coordinates will change to the opposite. So A prime is 5, 2, so that is two units above the line of reflection. B prime is 2, comma 6, that's six units above where B was six units below the line of reflection, and C is six comma six. And that is reflecting across the X axis. Let's try another one. Our line of reflection is the Y axis, so I like to pencil that in. And we have, we are in quadrant three, which is negative negative. We're going to be reflecting across the y-axis and end up in quadrant four, which is positive negative values. So A is negative one, negative one. B is negative four, negative five. And C is zero comma negative five. So reflecting across the y, the y's will all stay the same and then the x's will change to the opposite. So we have positive one, positive four, and of course zero is zero, it's neither negative nor positive. So A prime is one, negative one, B prime is four, negative, negative five, I should say, and C is simply still just zero, it just reflects right there on the line of reflection. So C and C prime are 
both the same coordinate. 